So the purpose we do this video about interview and the threat to the openness is to raise awareness to the society. Don't ever abandon their child. Maybe some parents is always have drug and drink alcohol until then is also to know who is them. But take care their child is their business. And the child is not a thing to keep you a boost and when. This is the present that the God gave you, so you want to take care of it carefully. The second point is to do this video is also called on everyone for donation to provide the children a more comfortable place to live. Maybe you also can go to the openness to play with them and give them some snack as a present. They also will give back you a smile and thank you so we both also will feel happy. And the child is don't have any, anyone to give them love but we also hope that they can have a more comfortable place today. So please don't add to them. The third point is don't discriminate them and treat them fairly to avoid their future. To avoid destroy their future. So the parents also need to educate their child to don't discriminate the child no parents in the school and always help them when they feel difficulties because they also will help you in the future when you face difficulty and hard. Lastly, someone can adopt them if available because everyone needs affection, understanding and love and they can have a complete family. We also hope that the openness can don't have anyone, any children in their openness in some day. And this is a good condition when the openness is close and no anybody in the openness and everyone have a complete family and have parents to love, understanding and affection and have a good home and have a comfortable place to live and grow and last but not least I hope that the parents don't abandon their child and take care of their children with good condition and carefully. Thank you. October 
we it was unofficially set up and then in 2005 May we we registered the home because any time we have any children we have 10 children and above we have to register with the register of societies so we registered the home in 2005 and we got our registration everything complete in 2007 the background also okay uh, what kind of children come here we have orphans we have children who are abandoned uh, children who are from the drug and alcoholic families children who are much more poor uh, children who are physically and sexually abused the aims you wish to achieve when you started this NGO uh, when we started this situation, which is MCO, do you think the cases that parents send their child to the orphanage will be increased? Why? Not really. We didn't have any new children going to MCO. In fact, I sent the Oran Aski back. They are, their problem is only poverty. They have no money to, for food and no money for education. And they live up
you for spending your time for doing the inter interview with us. And thank you so much. Thank you. After I received an orphanage, this experience has made me appreciate the love and support I get from my family and how lucky I was to have them with me. This trip to the orphanage was of great meaning to me. It showed me the other side of my life and the value of the things I had. Besides that, I will try my best to help them such as donate food and share to make them feel happy and show them they are not alone. I hope this video can show to the society to, to raise the awareness to the parent don't ever abandon their child once again in the future. After I visiting the orphanage, I can feel the orphans are very happy and sad at the same time. This is because the orphans are very appreciated for what they have and they are very intelligent like they can do things by their own. Therefore, we must start appreciating the little things in our life and we must give some love to the orphans. Lastly, I feel extremely fortunate that I have parents with me but the orphans don't. So after we visiting to the orphanage, I feel very pity for the children because the children are lack of all the words of care, love and anger that parents express towards their children. But at the same time, I also feel very happy because the dean of the orphanage have given them a place to live and also treated them very well. The visit to the orphanage taught me many uncomfortable things, including experience about life, such as being grateful and also appreciate with what we have. This experience had also given me a deeper love and also understanding for the children, particularly those who are abandoned, often and also neglected. I hope that throughout our presentation, we will more people to know and also find out about this orphanage Lighthouse Child Welfare Home Association to do some donation and also visit them to give them a little support. Thank you. So I will be presenting the conclusion of this project. After visiting the openness, I was feeling sad and distressed on seeing their condition. However, I also feel happy when they brought smile in their face by giving them some snacks. I realized that most of the children are left to fend for themselves either because the family did not have financial means to take care of them or they just abandoned them. In some cases, the parents just didn't have the experience to raise a child and have to give them up for food. It's unfortunate how these children are in a rip edge but have already lost a significant part of their childhood. They had no one to give them a name, no one to understand and care for them, no one to get them out and no opportunity to go to school. None of us like it when our parents requirements us for not studying properly, when we met funders, when we fought with our sibling or friends, when we didn't stand to them but there was a concern behind every word that they said. Secretly, there were two drops of tears shed for every tear of ours and there was an unsaid, unwritable promise that they would take care of us at every juncture of our lives, no matter what their conditions. These children are lacking all of word of care, anger, love, and all the feelings that parents express toward their children. Receiving the openness is a life-changing experience, and you start appreciating the little things in life when you see people who do have them. Last but not least, I feel extremely fortunate that I have my parents with me, but this little angels do not. Thank you.